What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So I was just scrolling through the news today just to see if there was anything new that I could share with you guys and I took a look at the current state of affairs in the Global vs JP campaign and I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty damn surprised by what I saw so why don't we just take a look at this together and see what's going on here. So of course we are scored based on seven different criteria. They are cleared stage count, training count, Dokkan awakening count, collected zinni count, uh, recruited number of piccolos recruited as well, and also increased rank count and number of the new frog support item collected. All right, so now that everyone is caught up to speed, let's see where we're currently at in this race. So, oh yeah, also it of course tells you that the winner of this campaign will win the Super Saiyan Goku and the loser will win or be given, I guess it's not really a win in that case, the SSR Frieza. So, um, at the end of the day, actually, if you guys aren't aware, these two cards are almost identical. They have very, very similar uh, meter skills, passives, super attacks, things like that. But they do have different links, different categories because they are very different well, different characters at least, but the cards themselves are very similar, so it doesn't really matter that much whether you win or lose, it's really more just like a fun, you know, souvenir to have. But let's move on here. So, first thing, cleared stage counts, that's the first criteria that we're being scored on, and yo, like, Global's winning. Global's winning by almost 2 million stages cleared. So, damn, that's that's wild, because if you guys remember, if you guys were around for the 200 million, 200 million down celebration, um, basically, JP handed Global's ass to them pretty handily. <laughs> so, I didn't see this coming, I thought that it was going to be the same thing, and, you know, Global's just going to get their ass kicked, and I was totally okay with that, because I really want that Frieza, but that's not the case so far. We move right on, training count, and once again, Global is beating JP by almost 2 million I guess characters trained, and um, we are winning in that department too. Moving right along, Dokkan Awakening count, beating JP by about 250,000. Wow, okay, so three out of seven so far that Global is winning. Collected Zenny count, <laughs> Global is winning by, what is that, almost two million Zenny, oh, two billion, that's two, two, wait, hold on, million, billion, trillion? Is that trillion? Hold on. I'm so confused right now by that huge, ma that mass, I think it's, I think it's trillion, that's a massive, massive number, but we are beating them by almost 2 trillion Zenny count, uh, Zenny collected so far during the campaign, so that's 4 out of 7 for, for global, um, number of piccolos recruited, we're winning by just a little bit here, by about 110,000, but still, we're, we're, we're winning in that category too, that's 5 out of 7. Moving on over here, number of uh, ranks increased by, and we are winning here by about a hundred and well, just just under two hundred thousand. So six out of seven categories that Global is beating JP by in this campaign. My mind's being freaking blown, guys. What I, I did not see this coming. And the very last thing is the number of collected uh, frog support items, and here is the only category that Global is losing by, and um, I mean. I don't know, what, what can I say, like, no, I don't think anyone's super hyped about this frog training item. I think everyone is too busy grinding the, the orbs and the dupes for the piccolo. And honestly, like, I haven't run this frog stage more than once. I think I ran it a second time by accident because I thought that was the orb stage. But aside from that, I don't see why people would be grinding to farm the frog. So if we lose this department, like, it's fine, I guess. But guys, <laughs> six out of seven categories that were being counted, that are being counted right now in the Global vs. JP campaign is advantage to Global. Who saw this coming? This is absolutely crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is, I mean, I think this is just a little fun video just to give you guys a little update on the current state of affairs in the JP vs. Global campaign. And uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys are surprised by what's going on right now because I did not see this coming, like I said. Uh, completely, completely caught off guard, and I don't know how to feel about this. Number one, like I am, I am kind of proud as a you know, lifelong, well not lifelong, but ever since I've been starting to play Dok, I've, ever since I played Dokkan, I've been a global player, and I'm kind of proud of the fact that we are handing JP's ass to them, just freaking, you know, killing them right now in this campaign. But at the same time, um, I really want that Frieza, man. I think that Frieza looks really cool. And I, you know, I have way too many Super Saiyan Gokus. I think another Final Form Frieza added to the collection will be more meaningful, more fun. 
But aside from that, uh, if you guys are curious about what these cards actually do, I'll quickly go over their stats and things like that. Well, not their stats. I don't think stats matter too much to you guys, but uh, you know, leader skills and things like that. So starting with the Goku, his name is Self Assured Victory Declaration Super Saiyan Goku, and his leader skill is Strength Type Key Plus Three, HP Attack and Defense Plus Thirty Percent. So pretty horrible leader. You're not gonna be running him as a leader anytime soon, at least. If you're like, you know, a veteran player or someone who has some better units. Um, super attack is angry, Kamehameha causes supreme damage to the enemy. His passive is key plus 3, attack and defense plus 77%. Pretty good, right? But only when HP is 77% or below, which is pretty awful. So, we're gonna move down here. His links are Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan Warrior Race, Golden Warrior, Kamehameha, and Z Fighters. And his categories are Pure Saiyans and Planet Namic Saga. So... Um, like I said, just more of a commemorative, you know, item, like a card to have just for fun. He's not really good at all unless they decide to some, like for some reason to give him a Dokkan Awakening in the future. Then he could be maybe solid, I don't know, but I don't think that's gonna happen. This, we're just gonna be able to keep this card, just keep him for fun. And this is the winner's prize, by the way. If you win this campaign, you get this guy. So, I'm gonna move on to the Frieza now, who I think personally, I personally think looks cooler. Uh, we got this Introduced to Humiliation and Despair Final Form Frieza. And his leader skill is Physical key plus physical Types, Key plus 3, HP Attack, HP attack and Defense plus 30%. So the same thing as Goku except for Physical Types. Uh, causes Supreme Damage to Enemy. His Super Attack is called That Actually Really Hurt. <laughs> Alright. Um, I believe that was a, that's a throwback to the actual anime where he said that. Passive is Last Stand, Key plus 3, Attack and Defense plus 77% when HP is 77% or below, so exactly same as Goku. His links, of course, will be different. Brainiac's Universe's Most Malevolent, Shocking Speed, Strongest Clan in Space, and Nightmare. And his category is Planet Namic Saga. So there you have it, guys. Those are the res respective prizes for the winners and losers. They're pretty much the same card, just it's a Frieza or a Goku, depending on your, if you win or lose. And like I said, I wanted that Frieza, but as it looks right now, I think we're actually gonna get this Goku instead, which you know what, I'll take him, but <laughs> um, hey, Global, just, just calm down a little bit, just chill out a little bit, slack off a little bit, stop grinding so much, and uh, let's let let's let JP take the lead, and so we can get that Frieza, huh? How about that? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You guys do whatever you want, whatever makes you happy. Um, I'm proud to be a Global player, like I said, and you guys should be proud as well for the fact that we are just running away with this race right here. Anyways guys, let me know in the comments down below if you have any opinions about this, what you think about this whole thing, and whether you think at the end of the day, once everything is all said and done, if Global will still be on top, or will JP eventually catch up and take the lead and beat us like they did last time. Um, but that's it for the video guys. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you had fun. If you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video, and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then maybe, just maybe, hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. But as always, hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.